Thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me today. I really do appreciate it. Today's video, I'm going to share a collective Sephora haul. This is a couple, two to three hauls that I did within a month's time span. Um, and I've been meaning to film this, but I picked up a couple other things. So I thought, why not just hang on to it and share that all with you guys at the same time. I picked up the new So De Janeiro number 59 right there. Um, I did get it in the mini just in case I didn't like it. Um, it says <clears throat> it's made with uplifting notes of vanilla, orchid, sugared violet, and sheer sandalwood. It does. I sprayed it one time since I've gotten it just to kind of see the day I got it. Um, it does smell really good. Um, but I found out recently, and I don't know if this is true, you guys let me know, but I found out that apparently it attracts, um, spiders. I don't know what type of spiders, but that is what I was told. So I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it or not, um, because even though it does smell good, I don't know that I want that happening and spiders coming around me. So we shall see. Um, I also picked up the... Glossier Brow Flick in the color brown. Um, I've heard a lot of good things about this and I've seen a ton of reviews on it. And you guys know that um, I like my brows to have like that natural look to it. That is what it looks like. Um, let's see what it swatches. Oh yeah, I think this is gonna be good. Um, and so I thought why not finally give it a try right there. Um, for my brows for that, you know, hair like strokes look. So I picked that up. It does say it's a micro fine detailing pin. And um, I think I saw Kathleen Lights uh, here on YouTube. She uses this like it's her holy grail. So I wanted to give it a try. The next thing I picked up, uh, this is a newer product from Huda Beauty. Well, not so new now, it was new at the time. Um, this is her new concealer in the shade Cherry Blossom. It's a color corrector. And it says it's infused with blendable and layerable brightens and, oh, niacinamide, excuse me. It brightens and evens discoloration. It's uh, crease and sweat proof and transfer proof. I have tried this one time since I've picked it up. Um... And I think I do enjoy it. Let me show you the packaging real quick. It does look like her other concealer packagings. And it's supposed to be a color correcting. And I did see this as well on YouTube. And I thought, and it had a lot of good reviews. It might seem a little dark for me. But I thought it would be, it would help with that discoloration. Because you guys know that I do struggle with really dark uh, circles. So I picked that up. And from the one time that I use it, I did like it. And it did set really nicely. Okay. Um, and then I picked up these two newer items from Sephora. I have tried them once each time of each product. I don't know that I like them. Uh, number one, they're super small. They're kind of deceiving on the website. And then number two, um, they're kind of dry. They don't have, like, it's kind of hard to get the product up. So the first thing I picked up was the new Sephora Contour Powder in Fair to Light. It looks like this. It's kind of that ashy tone. Um, when I rub my hand in it, it is a little powdery. You can see, like, nothing really even goes on my hand right there. Like, you see how it's just kind of... Uh, I don't know that I like that and like I said I have tried it once and that's the lightest shade. This is their new Sephora um, highlighter and this is in the shade Rose Quartz. This one as well is very powdery and when I swatched it on my finger it was kind of splotchy like it didn't look that great. I know when we swatch things, it's very different than when you put it on your face. So I'm going to try these here coming up soon. And I'm going to see if those are something that I may consider returning or if I'm going to keep them. 
I may return them because they were $14 a piece and I think for how powdery they are and the fact that they, it's very hard to get product up, I don't feel that they're worth $14. I can definitely find something much better than that. This is the Sephora Scalp Mask, Purifying Scalp Mask with Clay AHA. 97% ingredients are from natural origin. This isn't a full size. And this um, was on sale and it had a lot of great reviews. Um, I always look for great products for my scalp and so I wanted to give this a try and see if it's any good. So I will definitely keep you guys updated on that and let you know if it's worth picking up or not. The last thing I picked up was this uh, Kaoli um, perfume. It's a Eau de Perfume Travel Spray. This is the Vanilla Cocoa 21 Intense. I wanted the original vanilla, but they didn't have it in stock, so I thought, why not pick this one up? I haven't even opened it, guys. I'm barely gonna open it with you guys, and I've had this for some time. It has pear, jasmine, coconut, sandalwood, and vanilla bourbon. This is what it looks like. I don't know what is happening to my lighting and my coloring. There we go. Ooh, that's nice. Oh, that kind of reminds me of one of the YSLs that I have. The Le Parfume of YSL Libre. Ooh. Hmm. I'm going to see how it sets on my hand for the rest of the day. But from first sniffs, that's really nice. And I didn't want to commit to the full size because I do get a ton of perfume from work. But... I thought this would be really nice to carry in my purse um, and have. Wow, that's really, really nice. I'm really happy with that so far. So yeah, that wasn't bad. It was $29. Not bad for, a, that's about average that we sell our uh, purse sprays or roller balls at our store for. So that was great. The rest that I have in here are all um, free gifts that I got uh, picked. So this first one is from the uh, brand Wow, Color Wow. This is their extra large bombshell volumizer. Um, it says it's a volumizer that does not dry out hair. Extra large instantly thickens hair without de dehydrating, causing stiffness or damage. Gene the cuticle for big, glossy, sexy, full volume results that last for days. Um, I have seen reviews on this and that is why I picked it because I thought why not and this was a great sample This is a 1.67. I'm gonna get a few uses out of that the next thing I picked was the uh, Real flawless weightless perfecting concealer from Laura Mercier and it says um, it's a natural finish dewy and this is what it looks like. It's one of those little samples, kind of like a fragrance. I don't remember what, sh oh, 1NO is the shade I chose. I also got the Ambient Soft Glow Foundation from Hourglass. Um, and of course it comes like this. So I'll definitely give that a try. I might be able to mix like the first two, maybe even the third one. We shall see, but I got that. I got two, did I get two of them? Let's see, I think I got two of the Dior Forever samples. Um, these are in the Dior Forever Skin Correct Foundation, 24 hour full coverage foundation. So that's nice, and I, I like I said, I got two of them. This one came with the primer while the other one did not, so there you go, um, but I think it's the same. Skin Glow, wait, no. Actually, they're two different foundations. So <clears throat> I got one in Forever Skin Correct Foundation, which is a 24 hour foundation. And then I got one in the Iconic Hydrating Glow Foundation. So that's cool. Uh, I'm excited about that. I may even try using those darker shades for like contouring, cream contouring or something, you know, so they don't go to waste. And then I got this, uh, HD matte velvet powder sample right there 
not bad. I wish I would just send like one in your shade, like a little mini, but you know. All right, and then three more little samples they sent me, and then we will be done with this video. It wasn't a whole lot, just a few things I picked up to try. Um, the Milk Makeup Mattifying Primer right there, which I probably will not keep. I, I don't do well with matte primer, so I'm probably going to just put that in my giveaway bag or container. And then I got the Victor and Rolf Flower Balm Ruby. Okay, I dropped it. Flower Balm Ruby uh, Orchid sample. Just, you know, your regular sample. And then I also got this, the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Blurring Powder Balm bomb powder for face and eyes um it's in universal it says a texture reducing coverage boosting blurring balm to powder balm to powder that balances oils throughout the day while remain maintaining hydration powered by the cutting edge blurring swedish technology visual visually creates a soft focus effect on pores and lines tap on fingers to smooth and blur textured areas Hmm, that's interesting. Um, I went one day to try to use this to like set my makeup with. And when I felt the texture, I was like, wait, this is an actual like bomb, like a bomb formula. And then to smooth it, like it literally just turns into powder. And then once it turns into powder, it has the weirdest feeling. Like it's, it's very unique. So I'm going to look up videos on actually how to use this, but this is a good little size. Um, the packaging reminds me of the mini Tatcha uh, canvas primer, and it kind of feels, it doesn't feel like that, but it does have that powdery finish. When you go to rub your fingers, you feel like it's powder and not that balm anymore. That's kind of cool and interesting, so uh, excited to try that. But guys, that was everything I picked up. Um, this, this smells really good, just don't know about that spider thing, so I need to research that a little more. So far, this is smelling so, so good on my hand. It's wearing really nice, so we shall see. So excited to continue using this. I think I want to get one in like my normal shade um, because I do like that. I've used it a couple times. Excited to try the brow flick. These two, I'm going to try one last time, but I almost feel like I am going to be returning those because they were $14 a piece. To me, that was a little pricey for those items. I don't think they were worth it. I do feel like the Sephora brand has some better ones that are way cheaper than that. And then I will let you guys know about this hair scalp treatment for sure and what I think. And then I think that's it. So guys, that is everything that I picked up from Sephora within a span of time. I can't tell you the exact time because I don't remember, but it was just over a span of time. Um, let me know if there's something that you guys definitely recommend that I should give a try um, from Sephora. Um, something that you love, something that is newer, something that um, you feel is definitely worth the hype. Leave that down below because I always want to be able to try some new things, especially for you guys. I'll let you know what I think and all of that. So guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is going to complete the video for today, but I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.